How's it going guys? And welcome to kind of a special video. Today I'm going to be doing what I said in my previous mold video and I'm going to be going over all of these ones that my fiance's mom has previously already slip cast. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start looking at these one by one. So I'm doing manual focus on this so I can try to get this as best as I can. So sorry if I accidentally blur them a bit at some point. So this right here looks like a little lamb. It was probably part of a nativity scene, honestly. I'm going to put that one down. And then right here, it looks like we have uh, kind of like some kind of bear. It needs a lot of care and love, this one. Looks as though it, uh, maybe it actually sits on its side. Though I don't feel like it does. I feel like this one kind of uh, didn't come out very well, but that's all right. Now we have another bear, and all of this stuff on the side, it actually can be cleaned up, um, but I don't do the cleaning. My fiance's mom actually does, but I might actually have her kind of show me what I need to do in order to do that. But this is a cute little bear. Right here, we have a deer or a doe. You can see this is where everything was poured in. A nose needs to be cleaned up in the ears as well. Here's that one I've been talking about for a while that I really like. I think it'd be really nice to fire this up. There's a little bit of a mistake right there. But uh, you have the mold so you can create a bunch of these guys. We can't forget that we also have some boxes as well. This one right here is uh, pretty nice. It's kind of like a seashell box. Looks as though it might have got warped just a little bit. That's all right though. Like I said, everything can be reboard again. And uh, we're not low on slipping, you know that. All right, let's go ahead and pick this guy up. Ooh, I like this. I didn't see this one before. So this is a mouse on top of a little tiny clock. I love clocks. They're just so, especially the old style ones, they're so cool. All right. And ooh, this guy back here. I like this guy. Let's pull him out. Oh, man. I like this one. This is actually uh, an incense holder. How cool is that? That is definitely something that I uh, would love to have fired. And you can pretty much mass produce these things too. Man, that's so cool. All right, let's go ahead and put that guy back. Kind of have to do it gently because I don't want to break these guys. They're very brittle. So here's an example right here of a mistake that you can make. If you put the lid on here while it's still uh, wet, it actually can adhere together, so this box is kind of sealed. It might be able to, with a little bit of running something through the edge, be able to actually separate it again. There we go. But let's look at a really nice box over here that we have. I'm going to go ahead and move it around. Look at this one. That heart design came out so good. Look at that. You can uh, remove it. Looks like it has a little split in it, but that actually can be fixed with adding some clay to it. But look how nice that looks. Really enjoy that box. Let's move this over here. And uh, one that we made together the other day, if I go ahead and grab it, is that semi truck. It actually dried very well. I don't know if you can tell, the color is much lighter now. And if we fired it, we could actually put like a little peg in there that allowed it to move back and forth. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and put that down. And of course, we have some more detailed ones too. This is also part of a nativity scene, I believe. But look at the detail in this guy's uh, fur. It's insane. 
all that detail. Looks like we have some flat dogs I showed you guys briefly before. It's very cute. And then right here, it looks like we have some kind of uh, bull. There's a huge stack of these guys too, if you can see back there. So this is just one of those. Sometimes the mold has multiple different tiny little pockets that have the same design, so you can pour them and make them in more large kind of bulk. If we look up here, we have a really nice uh, sunflower kind of dish. If you fired this, you could glaze it. And maybe you could even do something like um, put your spoons on it or something. I think that would be pretty cool. Focus back in on it. What do you guys think? Let's go ahead and put this back. And let's go ahead and grab this guy. This guy right here is an owl. Let's see if I can get the right focus on here. There we go. I'm not used to using a manual focus, forgive me. Pretty cool. The bottom still needs to be uh, cleaned off. And then St. Patrick's Day, we have a little uh, guy right here. Leprechaun. Don't know why I couldn't think of it. Kind of looks ominous when you look at it like this. He's just like, how you doing? <laughs> but yeah, pretty nice little thing. That'd be really cool for uh, painting, maybe even for kids. And then we have, of course, we have uh, more designed kind of things like this. Move it in a little bit closer. There we go. Man, I really like this kind of stuff. I'd love to just like, I don't know, pour like a, I don't know, like a cocktail in there or something. I think that'd be kind of cool. Drink it out of a fired kind of old style cup. Let's see about moving this guy out of the way. Looks like we have some kind of stroller. I guess you could put a baby in there or something. Back, you can tell, is the uh, more damaged part. But like I said, sometimes the slip just pulls the dirt off the mold, and the next time you pour it, it'll be uh, a lot better in uh, its quality. You could uh, do something funny and put maybe like one of the little mice or, I don't know, dogs in there or something. You could grab like uh, this guy and be like, this is my baby. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm going to set that back down. If I reach towards the top right here, we can look at some of the ones that I really like. And you probably already know what I'm talking about. It is these chess pieces. And oh man, oh man, let's focus in on these guys a little bit farther away. Right there. Oh man, look at this guy. That would be so cool if we could just find the rest of these guys. And I have that uh, scroll saw. I'd love to make my own kind of... Um, a little chessboard. Man, that would be so nice. And then up here, there we go. We have another chess piece. I believe that's a rook. There we go. And then we have two of these guys, but I'm just going to show you guys one of them. There we go. Pretty cool. Man, I really want to make a chessboard. I know I keep saying it, but man, do I want to make a chessboard. And we have a polar bear. It's pretty cute. Has a little bit of a little bit of a hairline crack. It's all repairable though. If you wet it down a little bit, you can seal the crack. And this is kind of cute. But I think it might be missing something. Looks like a nice basket and all. But, uh... It has a hand on it. <laughs> or at least part of an arm. So I'm thinking this goes with something much larger. So we gotta find the other piece to that. 
I gotta hand it to you though. These molds are pretty cool. Are these slip casts? I can't even make the pun. Man. All right, here we go. <laughs> then we have this uh, cute cat. Let's actually zoom in or focus in a little bit more for these smaller guys. Yeah, look at that. How cute is that? All right, put that back up there. We got some bigger ones, so let's go ahead and focus out a little bit. I'm gonna bring this guy in. This is something I really wanna fire. Look at that. It has a teacup. Clean up the edges, maybe throw it in the microwave kiln and see if I can actually get to a harder consistency. And then you can just uh, have yourself a tiny little cup of tea. I love that. Big fan of Victorian stuff. All right. And these guys are really cute. Look at this guy. Looks as though his tail is kind of missing, but it's a cute little cat. You guys know I love cats. So right over here, while wow, these guys are really small, look at this guy. Tiny little fat cat. That's so cute. Love it. And I don't know if I've shown this guy yet. But he's kind of loafing. Very cute. And then, I like this one. This is one of my favorites. Because of the fur texture on there. The details in the face. What do you guys think about that one? There we go. And we have some ones farther in the back, but I don't know if I want to really risk grabbing ones that are too far back without first moving the ones or moving the ones that are in front i don't want to break any of them very nice little bird and i think that comes in a set actually oh that's exactly why i didn't break it though luckily well, this guy looks really cool let's see if we can get him out of here Look at this. Now this is something that I would like definitely see like my grandmother buying or maybe even I'd pick it up. It could be, you know, any color you want to if you wanted to paint it. The details in the flowers are still there too. And I really like this one. Let's put this back towards the back. I think I see an egg. I'm not sure, but I could swear that I see an egg back here. Let's see if I can pick it up. Probably not going to put it back, though. Yeah, this is just an egg. I think it might have laid on its side a little bit because we got some flat spots. It's a little thick, too. That's still cool. Nice little egg. And let's see if we have some bigger stuff, and then I'm going to finish off the video. Ooh, this one right here. This is going to be the last one. It's going to be hard to get in here, but... Look at this seashell. This is one I'm really excited to uh, mess with. We actually put holes at the bottom because we can totally turn this seashell into a planter. How cool is that? I would love to uh, plant, like, some herbs or something in this. Very nice. But yeah, what do you guys think? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed all these really nice uh, slip cast little tiny uh, things right here. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and checking out my Patreon. And as always, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.